Back off me, go on. Back off me! Boom! Back off me, boy! Woof. Oh! Oh! What's the crack lads and welcome to my Leo Messi review. So as you see here, we did pack the epic version of Messi, but we've got multiple versions of him. We have obviously the free version, <clears throat> excuse me, we have the free version of Messi here. This is how I would train him up. There's two ways of playing Messi, right? You can play him as kind of like a whole player. Obviously these, uh, this free version of Messi is a deep line forward. I will be doing a video on play styles and playing styles of the players and what they mean and how they move with the AI. Sometimes it's a little bit chaotic on the pitch, man. So it's hard to really get good clips to show exactly what they do. Um, it's more of a kind of a feel of where the players are going to be positioned with your formation and your tactics and where they go by default, right? But we've got the Argentina, uh, Argentinian pack of Messi as well as the big time Epic. They're the three we're going to be focusing on <coughs> with the clips. The free version is Deep Lion. This Messi, this version, the Argentinian pack, is a creative playmaker. And also, as well as the big time Epic, we have got a creative playmaker. So as I said, keep an eye on the channel. I'm going to be doing a full breakdown of the playing styles. A lot of people asking me about that. And the differences between, you know, the same version of a player such as Messi, but that they have different playing styles, such as creative playmaker versus a whole player or a deep line forward. So yeah, there's multiple ways to train him up, right? And I'm gonna show you the different ways that you can train him up using different versions of Messi. The clips you're gonna see here are basically the three versions that we're talking about. Um, and yeah, look, at the end of the day, right? If you are a good finisher and if you're able to shoot, such as, you know, when we get into a position like this, I'm gonna be shooting nine times out of 10, man. And I think Messi is the best curled shot finisher in the game, right? I know Anthony is good. Um, I would say that Neymar is unbelievable as well, but I think Messi kind of pips it for me with the terms of his power, um, his range, his ability to do it from, you know, on the run, and his dribbling is awesome as well. I mean, this is another excellent goal. You cut in, you beat your man, and then it's into the top corner of the net. And the way the goalies are playing at the moment with V2.3.2, um, they're not saving that even if they do save some incredible shots, right? Now, we're going to break down a couple of little movements here, but this is what Messi's all about. You know, the first time touch, having an old pop, and then it just creates chance after chance. You can see here that we're attacking on the left flank, and this is what I'm talking about with Messi and the different play styles, right? Watch Messi's run in here. This is Messi that's going to go into the box. He's not going to be as offensive or as attack-based um, as somebody like, you know, Romario or a fox in the box or somebody that's going to be making deep surging runs into the box. Uh, but what you get with this version of Messi here, which we'll show at the end of the video, is a movement into the box that's going to be on the end of everything. So if you're playing a 4-3-3, if you're playing two out wide players, you need one of your out wide players to be making runs like this, preferably two of them. And you can see there with Messi. Now, this is where Messi really shines, is just getting the ball and at full pace, just scoring on either foot. As I said, lads, look, it comes down to personal preference. If you like Messi as a link-up player and you're playing him through the middle, that's very, very good. But I do recommend, and this is how I play Messi, I play him as an SS, where I kind of manually bring him into the middle of the pitch, but I also have the option of using him as a prolific kind of winger that's able to get the ball. He's not got blistering pace, uh, such as Dembele or somebody like that, but what Messi does offer you is excellent dribbling, and he does have that fear factor that if your opponent is defending against Messi, they know that they're going to try and either rush it to get the ball back really quick, or else they're going to stand off you a bit. And you'll see what happens when you stand off Messi. It's very hard to kind of... I always kind of try and, like, you know, do different things. I'll have a few long-range shots. I'll have a few curl shots. I'll have a few touch and goals. I'll have a few long balls to break down with the center forward to keep your opponent guessing. Don't be too uh, complacent when you're playing against a good opponent. But this is where I think Messi really excels, is out on this wing, which we'll see here. Easily dealt with with Van Dijk. He's just going to square the ball across into Messi here. Boom. Watch what we're going to do here. He's just going to take the defender completely out of it. Hernandez is one of the best defenders in the game. He's pretty much set here. I mean, he's got his back tree in a center position. Beautiful. This guy could not complain about the AI here. The AI are pretty much defending for him. 
but Messi is going to rinse him with his tight dribbling, burst away, and then watch here with the double touch. Now that obviously comes in, you need to learn how to do the skill move. He tries to take me out, and then it's a beautiful little one-touch flick, and it's a penal, and that is going to be 2-0. But watch this double touch with Messi, one of the best in the business at doing it. Beats two players with tiny little flicks of the stick. Again, here we've got this version of Messi running into the box. We're going to show you a different version of Messi in a second with the, with the deep line forward. Again, you've got him here. Look where Messi is here at the end of this move, right? He's kind of in the little hole in the pocket. Now, this again comes down to player preference. I know people that like to leave Messi in the pocket centrally and just like to spray the ball left and right and be able to do a lot of the stuff that you're seeing in this video from a more central position and a more kind of deep role um, that's able to kind of dictate everything instead of just being, you know, making runs and treating him as a traditional winger on the wing or else treating him as somebody that's going to be in the box. But I preferably do like this version of Messi that runs into the box, the big time epic. Um... If you are playing him as a creative playmaker or a deep line forward, again, it depends on your play style. So that is something everyone should have the free version of Messi by now. So that free version of Messi, there does be a different experience when you're playing with him. But look, it's not going to be game changing for you. Um, I will get into that in another video of mine. But just to keep it in mind, you know, having an option of the creative playmaker versus the deep line forward, I will be breaking down these play styles very, very, very soon on the channel. It's one of my most requested videos. It does make a difference, right? It depends. Obviously, no matter what you do, it always depends on the sticks and the game um, is always going to, you know, like either go for you or go against you. You know, some things you can't control. You know, if you try to clear the ball and the responsiveness isn't there, it doesn't matter if you were playing a creative playmaker or a deep line forward. But for those, you know, instances where you can be make a difference and, you know, you're matched up against a fairly skilled opponent... This is what it's all about in choosing which version of players and which version of Messi. In this video, I definitely like Messi as my main shooter. He is my main threat from outside the box. We've got three options here and look how Messi delivers this. We can go out wide to Neymar, we can go on to Kimmich on the right flank or we can take a beautiful long range curling shot. The opponent is back, 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 back and off and it's in the back of the net. Boom. So yeah, you have to decide what version of the player that you want, lads. And this goes for every player that has a different play style. But realistically, I still think that stats come down to the being the most important part of it. I know people say that like, oh, this player doesn't feel as good as him or as good as him. But trust me, if you're not able to score curl shots like this with Messi, Messi isn't the problem because he's got curl that's going to be in the 90s. We saw every version of him. You know, a couple of points here and there, a couple of stats to speed and acceleration isn't going to like set the world on fire. It's not going to make a massive difference. But I think it's all about using the player exactly as he should be used on the pitch to maximize your chances of getting the best out of him. So that is my review of Messi and a deep ana analysis of Messi, a deep dive on him. We also had Zico as well, so make sure and check that out. Let me know who you'd like to see next. We are working on a couple of them. I will talk to you later. Peace.